Lucy fans, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is KJ Ricardo. Today's episode is a guest star spotlight on Mary Jane Croft. I like to do guest star spotlights every now and then on people who appeared on I Love Lucy as a regular guest star and Mary Jane Croft is definitely one. She is best known for her roles as Betty Ramsey on I Love Lucy, Miss Daisy Onright on Armis Brooks, Mary Jane Lewis on The Lucy Show and Here's Lucy, as well as Claire Randolph on The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. So let's get into her bio, her history a little bit so we can learn about her. She was born on February 15, 1916 in Muncie, Indiana, and she passed away on August 24, 1999. She began her acting career at the young age of 17 at the Muncie Civic Theater. She quickly joined the Guild Theater Company, which was a theatrical stock company in Cincinnati, Ohio. From there, she went to the WLW radio station. She worked there from 1935 to 1939, and she played the voices and accents of children, babies, old women, society bells, basically everything she could get her hands on, she wanted to do. So just like other actors, who were working during this time, she got her start in radio. That's just a growing trend. And she continued to do that um, throughout the 1930s and 40s. She appeared in many radio shows like Sherlock Holmes, Blondie, The Bill Goodwin Show, Joan Davis Time, Armis Brooks, and My Favorite Husband, which started her lifelong professional and personal relationship with Lucille Ball. In the early 50s, she began guest starring on TV shows, including The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, as well as Our Miss Brooks. She appeared on that a few times. She was also the voice of Cleo in The People's Choice. She was She's the voice of the pet dog, which is kind of cool to, to think about. But she is most notably well known for her role on I Love Lucy. She appeared in seven episodes during the course of the show. So we're gonna look at each show individually. So let's get started with Lucy is Envious. Now this is in 1954, this is her first appearance. She plays one of Lucy's school um, schoolmates, Cynthia Hardcore. She's a very rich uh, society belle. And she asked Lucy to donate some money for a charity. Lucy thinks she's donating $5, but she's actually donating $500. So <laughs> Lucy has to raise some money so Cynthia doesn't blab across to everyone she went to school with that she doesn't actually have a lot of money. So this leads to Lucy and Ethel doing the famous Martian scene. The next episode is Return Home from Europe. This is in 1956. This is a great episode. Uh, Mary Jane is playing Evelyn Bigsby. She has a real baby on the plane, and Lucy has this big old hunk of cheese that she's passing off as a baby. And their interaction during the entire like plane trip is very hilarious, and it ends with uh, Mary Jane crying and screaming when the baby, the cheese, disappears. Lucy Gets Chummy with the Neighbors is our first episode where we see Mary Jane as Betty Ramsey. She takes Lucy shopping for some new furniture for the country house. The furniture is really expensive. The Ricardos can't afford it, but Lucy can't bring herself to 
tell Betty that. So she tries to say, oh, it's not for us. But this insults Betty. She um, gets really upset. And when Ricky comes home, he's upset because of how much the furniture costs. So he says, I'm not afraid to tell people that we can't afford it. So he goes next door and sees Mr. Ramsey, who is played by Frank Nelson. And they get in a fight because Ricky insulted um, him as well. And everyone is really upset until the very end and things are resolved. The next episode is Lucy Raises Chickens. I love this episode. Uh, Lucy and Ethel bought some baby chicks, 500 baby chickens for their egg business. They get the chickens out for their dinner, but little Ricky leaves the den door open. And so all the baby chicks are loose in the house. They're running all over the place. They have to find all 500 baby chicks. They're doing okay, but they have some that are still missing. And Lucy has to pretend to be their mother. So she's walking around like she's their mother and they are following her. But that is when Betty walks in with the editors from House and Garden who were going to feature the house in an upcoming issue. Lucy is embarrassed. It's, it's a pretty sad moment. The next episode is Housewarming. I love this episode. In this episode, Ethel's kind of feeling left out because Lucy has become really good friends with Betty Ramsey. But during a lunch, <laughs> they, Betty and Ethel find out that they're from Albuquerque. They're both from the same hometown. And so they become best friends and Lucy feels left out. She feels like she's lost both friends. But she overhears them talking about a, a party or so. And she thinks that they're throwing her a surprise party. So she gets all dressed up. They're, they're going to throw her a housewarming party. And she practices her surprise face. And nobody comes. Nobody comes to the party. And so Lucy is really upset. She thinks that no one is throwing her a party. Ethel overhears this and decides to get everyone together to throw them a surprise party. The next episode is Country Club Dance. <laughs> I love this episode as well. This is when they're at the country club. Everyone is dancing. The men don't really want to dance. They're too tired. And so the women are complaining about that. But it's not until a woman walks in. <laughs> Diana Jordan. She walks in. Who's played by Barbara Eden of I Dream a Genie. And all the men want to dance with her. So the women decide to get all dressed up. Betty has this exotic perfume on. Everyone gets dressed up to try to, you know, show their husbands that they are glamorous as well. And it doesn't really work out. It's a hilarious episode. And then the last episode that Mary Jane Croft appears on Lucy is Lucy Raises Tulips. Lucy and Betty are competing in like a gardening uh, contest, like where they're um, growing flowers. And Betty has always won. She's kind of showing her a little bit of a snobbish attitude where I'm the best one. And so Lucy has to cut the grass because Ricky didn't ever cut the grass. And Lucy doesn't know how to use a lawnmower. And she ends up plowing over <laughs> Betty's flowers. And of course, Lucy's upset. She feels bad. And so she decides to replace Betty's flowers with wax flowers thinking oh no one will tell no one will tell but the wax flowers start to melt in the sun and so Betty is very upset it's not until um, the judges are there at Lucy's garden that they discover that her flowers were wax as well from Ricky replacing them as well so moving on after I Love Lucy ended Mary Jane Croft became a guest star on The Lucy Show in 1962 as Audrey Simmons. When Vivian Vance left the show in 1965, Mary Jane became a regular, um, her new sidekick, Mary Jane Lewis. She also appeared on Here's Lucy. She guest starred as a continuation of her Mary Jane Lewis character from The Lucy Show until the show ended in 1974. Her later career, she continued to act in TV after Here's Lucy ended, and she even reunited with Lucille Ball for Lucy Calls the President, a TV special in 1977. She returned to radio for a series radio theater in 1979, but 
looking at her personal life a little bit, she was married to an actor, Jack Zoller, for, for a short marriage, and then they divorced, and she remarried Elliot Lewis in 1959 and was married to him until his death in 1990. Her only son, Eric Zoller, from her first marriage, was killed in action during the Vietnam War. So that's a really sad fact about her life. Mary Jane died from natural causes in Central City, California on August 24th, 1999. She was 83 years old. That's it. That is my little spotlight feature on Mary Jane Croft. She was a really special woman. She worked with Lucy pretty much her entire later career. She met Lucy and my favorite husband and stayed connected and they had a friendship pretty much um they were just really close friends so i like that fact thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time let me know what your favorite fact was about mary jane croft or what your favorite moment featuring betty rams or her other character on i love Liz. let me know in a comment and i'll be happy to read that thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week and remember to always laugh often.